Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at installing the draw boxes that I made in the last episode. So to set us off, I'm just going to have a look at a few of the bits that I've got here to install on the boxes before I can fit them. So there's a couple of clips there that go at the front of the draw box and these are the depth adjusters. And then I've got a template jig for drilling the clips and the hole at the back that the runners locate into. As always, you need loads of drills, so the more the better. You can keep changing bits, but it just makes it life easy when you're doing a lot of these to have a separate drill for each individual bit that you're going to use. Okay, so I've located the front of the draw box with the F, but you can also note that the front clips will have a wider housing than the ones at the back. So. It's fairly easy to identify at this stage which way around the draw box is going in the opening. So this template will drill both the front and back location holes for the runners to sit in. The one at the back here is uh, I think a 6 or 6.5mm six drill bit and it's drilled just enough, I think it's about 10mm deep into the back of the draw box. The template has a stop on it to stop you drilling right through to the inside of the drawer. Then we flip the template round and use the smaller drill, I think it's a 2.5mm drill, and that drills the whole screw hole positions for the front clips. This is really good because even if your the groove for your bottom panel of your drawer is slightly off from the holes, if you've got a nice sharp drill bit you get perfect alignment of that front clip which is really important for accurate setting of the drawer runners. If you saw at the start there, I'm using 3.5mm screws that are 20mm long. Normally I just fit the runners with these clips, but there's also an optional extra depth adjustment clip which I've decided to show in the video. Now these fit on both sides left and right, and you turn the thumb wheel here and it adjusts the rubber bump stop in and out, so once fitted to the underside of the drawer, you can alter how deep the drawer sits in the opening just by turning that little thumbnail. These locate in the front clips and then there's a separate screw both into the drawer bottom and into the drawer front. We'll put them screws in later once the front is in place. That's it for the drawer runner hardware. Now I'm just going to make some preparation holes for the drawer front to be attached to the actual drawer box. So I'm drilling through the front of the drawer here and I'm using the little stick with the lines on it to locate each drill hole. So the stick measures 25mm from the edge of the drawer, then I've got a 25mm mark from the drawer base from the bottom of the stick and then I've got the appropriate markings in the height for all the different draw heights that I'm working on. So it just makes drilling these holes really accurate but also really quick. Then finish them holes off with a little countersink. I've got to be really careful here that the countersink goes in the same depth for each and every hole so the screws seat into the timber at the same depth. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video there. I've already pre-installed the runners on these carcasses. So these are Blum Mavento runners. These are the 40 kilo and some of them are 60 kilo. But they all have the same fitment, which is about 38 mil from the bottom of the opening to that top row of screws. So what I tend to do is just mark up 38 mil on one side, then set my laser level to that line. And that gives me the position of that row of screws. And then I'm looking for a depth measurement to put the runner on. So the very frontmost part of the runner that screws to the carcass, that if you're not using the depth adjustment clips, that is pretty much the front of the draw box. So you know where that runner is going to be. If you're using the depth adjustment clips, because they've got that added rubber bumper on, 
you're going to have to set the raw runners back a further couple of mil, so about two mil further back. But that's the sort of position you want the runners to sit on, and the laser level just helps you get them perfectly parallel to one another. Okay, so sit the draw back for the first time and clip it in position. And I just push it into the opening a couple of times and watch it as it closes. So I'm looking for any sort of movement as one draw and us hitting before the other or, or closing before the other one. And that'll give me an indication if there's a misalignment. Once I've done that, I just check the gap from the face of the draw box to the face of the frame. And I want to get them that gap absolutely perfect all the way around. Now, it's really tricky, that's the most difficult part of draw runners, is to get your draw sitting perfectly parallel to the face frame, but with an even gap all the way around. As I'm sure you know, if you've ever made adjustments on a draw runner, if you adjust the side-to-side -side movement of the draw box to get the gap right, quite often, or it definitely will, adjust how one side of the draw sits in terms of the depth of the draw, because you're not altering the the squareness of the draw. If the draw is slightly out of square to the frame, as you adjust it, the front of the draw to the left or to the right, you're adjusting the angle at which the draw sits within the carcass. So what I tend to do is cheat the system slightly and get the draw box so it sits perfectly flat with the face frame even if it's slightly off center. So I adjust the left and right movement uh, now while there's no face frame or draw front on the box and I get the gap to the frame absolutely perfect. And then that allows me to stick the draw front on in with the right tolerances and then it'll be perfectly parallel. So if you've not got access to the inside of the draw, the easiest way to stick the draw front on is to use a double-sided sticky tape. This tape that I'm using is a Georgian bar glazing tape. It's really, really sticky, a lot stickier than the security glazing tape. It's 10 mil wide and one mil thick. I'm just using a, a tiny little bit, so about 15 to 20 mil, right next to where the screw holes or the screw fixings through from the draw box to the draw face are. And that means when I put the screws in, it's gonna be able to compress the tape fully and you're not gonna know that there's any tape there. If you were to put a whole perimeter of tape to stick the draw front on, there's no way the screws are going to be able to compress that much material, so you're going to see a gap between the draw front and the draw box. I get a couple of screws in that are normal wood screws. Just check the alignment, make sure we're not a million miles off. The main thing to look for is the left to right alignment. The up and down or the vertical alignment can be adjusted on the runners later. And then remove the draw and just pre-drill and then put in the finished wood screws, which in this case is a inch and a quarter countersunk slot head brass screw. Really, really rate the Festool CXS little hands like mini screwdriver. There's so much control that you can you can use it on flathead wood screws, no bother at all and perfectly align them. So then push the drawer in position and just have an initial look at how it closes. Again making sure it shuts evenly down onto both runners at the same time. And then you check in the alignment left and right and vertically against the perimeter gap. These clips at the back can adjust the tilt of the drawer, so if you raise that up, it will tilt the top of the drawer front outwards. And then there's another clip at the front which will adjust the alignment of the drawer front in the vertical position, so that will obviously raise the drawer up. These are always set in the lowest position, so if anything, you want your drawer front to be slightly tilted back at the top and slightly low before you make any adjustments. The round adjustment on the orange clip there will just side to side and then that's the add-on clip that adjusts the stop depth of the runner. Once you've made all your adjustments it's really important to remember to put the final screws in that attach the clip to the draw front. 
these are so easy to forget because they're underneath the drawer and they need doing right at the end so it's really important that you remember to turn the drawer upside down and put them extra couple of screws in and once you're happy with everything in the right place put a, enough fixings in the drawer slides to make sure that they're never going to move as well if you've made adjustments to the sides, I always put a screw in anywhere that you've, you've put a screw in previously so that it just covers any sort of screw hole that looks a bit looks a bit naff if you've put a screw in then removed it and don't put another one in the hole once you've finished. And have a final quick clean up. And hopefully we should have a nice fitting drawer. Okay, and that should be pretty much everything covered. If you used to fit in these and you run into regular problems or some, you've got something to add that someone else might benefit from, then post a comment up and I'll either pin it or put it in the top of the description. But hopefully this gives you a, a nice easy way of getting a real accurate fit on your draw runners and negate any problems that you might come across when you come to use them.